Hey everyone, James again with TFB TV. You may recognize where I'm standing and you certainly recognize the crew that I'm with. I'm here at Terran Tactical in California. This really is the training ground or maybe even the playground of the stars. Uh, you guys just went stratospheric after John Wick because everybody saw and appreciated the technical work that you did with Keanu Reeves. And there were a lot of videos that got out there went hot. So now everybody knows in the gun industry, especially Terran Tactical, Terran Butler, household name. How'd you get started with this? Um, I've been doing celebrity training for years, but uh, the whole John Wick thing happened when J.J. Uh, Perry came out and through a friend, Mike uh, Setting, who was a three-gunner, shooter, uh, he wanted him to do the training, but he wasn't really set up for it, so he recommended me, and it all blew up. The director, Chad Stahowski, got heavy into it, and they, they want another level of training that I, you know, we'd done stuff before, fix the grip, good draw, stuff like that, but they, at 8711, it's a stunt organization that does all the best movies. Just the level they pushed us to made us better trainers. And uh, when the Wick video came out, like three years ago, every actor wanted to put that in the repertoire to be a, a good, you know, tough guy, character, badass in movies. So we got The Punisher coming out, we got Joel Kinnaman, we got uh, Chris Pine. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cool. cast of SWAT, um, the cast of lots of different fun shows, The Fear of the Walking Dead. They all come out uh, and just they, they want to go next level with it. And just that video really just did it. It went to millions and millions of views on YouTube, our Facebook, mm -hmm. and it still every day gets likes and shares. And, and just to see Keanu, you know, a legendary actor doing yeah. that was a one time moment. I mean, we could train another actor again, it'll be great. but. That's that one time kind of like Blair Witch moment, you know? I know everybody wants to hear about the celebrities, and I guess to an extent, you're a gun celebrity, so people want to hear about you too. How'd you start, Taryn? Um, God, like over 20 something, 23 years ago before she was born, and most of them were born. <laughs> um, you know, I followed the shooting sports and uh, got into it with a Glock uh, 24, 40 cal, and within a year got a Grand Master card shooting Southwest Pistol League, and then I was the last guy to get a Grand, uh, uh, a Grand Master card in uh, all seven divisions recently. So I've got a Grand Master in all those. And then uh, for Southwest Pistol League, I've won over like 34 uh, title defenses in that match. So at Southwest Pistol League, I was able to get a Combat Master ranking about 20 years ago. And there's guys that have that ranking, there's only 19 of them. Jeff Cooper, Thel Reed, uh, Mickey Fowler, all those guys have that, Mike Dalton. So it means a lot to be the last one. I've been fending that off for a long time. And uh, just got into three gun, because pistol was great. But three gun was even more. It's three, you know? and uh, just getting really good at that and uh, winning the triple crown years ago, where I won the limited division, the tactical division, and the unlimited division. No one's ever done that before or since, so that was like my crowning thing. Hollywood, how'd you get there? Um, well, in competition, I wanted to be the best I could possibly be. And looking at guys ahead of me, like Michael Voigt, legendary three gun shooter. There's Jerry Miklik. There's Rob Latham, one of the, the greatest pistol shooter of all time. Love Rob. Shooting with them and against them, you, you had to be the best. You weren't mm -hmm. just online farting around with your 10,000 runs on YouTube mm -hmm. until you like pull off some amazing thing. You have one chance to beat those guys and to, to win big championships. And, and that was an era that I, I would never take back mm -hmm. um, to shoot with those legends and to be part of their whole era. And um, then just the Hollywood thing, like I said, busted loose when I trained Keanu. And, the director said, go ahead and put the little video out. We thought I'd get a few views or whatever, and it just went insane. And mm -hmm. that's what brought the other actors out here. And I'm just a better trainer now than I was three years ago, mm -hmm. way better. Because they just want, like, really, we got to train with that? Okay, and then I learned more. And as I'm training, I'm actually kind of teaching myself some little mm -hmm. stuff here and there. And, and the girls have helped a lot. They're not, mm -hmm. you know, they just really help with the shooting. Jade's become phenomenal. All the girls shoot awesome. And just having them here, uh, some of the celebrities come out, say the Kardashians, for instance. Mm -hmm. They think they're coming to like a totally militarized situation or whatever and they get scared but they just they're so fun and wonderful and they shoot so good it makes it really easy for everyone to get into this and to watch them shoot and out shoot most of the men out there it's really cool i would love for the girls to introduce themselves and, and talk about what they do what they like shooting <laughs> hey guys i'm jade struck i shoot for terran tactical innovations uh, I'm a three gunner, I'm a pistol shooter. I have four major titles underneath my belt. Two for pistol, two for three gun. Um, I like the 17L, just like to, I enjoy teaching as well. I'm also an instructor here at Terran Tactical and also his right hand. And so, yeah, shooting's my life and I enjoy it and I thank you guys for having me. I'm Jennifer Irene. I was introduced to Taryn Butler and Terran Tactical three years ago and since then I've been shooting competitions. I am, my favorite gun is the six hour MPX. I also like the Glock 17 Combat Master. Um, we always have fun here, very professional, very humble environment. 
great people. So it's been a great experience. Hi, I'm Megan. <laughs> I just started competition not too long ago. I met Taryn and started working here a couple of years ago. Always wanted to compete, but never got fully into it until recently. I love shooting, but I mostly do the MPX as well, PCC. Um, I've just been shooting local matches, but yeah, I love it. And other than that, I just work up in the, the office and high polished life. <laughs> and loads Max, she's the yeah. best. <laughs> Do you girls ever get starstruck? I mean, you've got a lot of celebrities that come through. We've been talking about that a lot today. Me, one person. Yeah. Who? Oh, you I had a crush on Mark Paul Gosser as a girl, so <laughs> you like Zach. Yes, I had his poster up on the wall when I was a little girl. <laughs> How was Zach Morris over here? Did he behave himself? He's, He's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. He's actually a lot co more quiet than I thought he would be. <laughs> the Punisher is fun. He's, he's, great. he's great. Keanu's the best. Yes, I, mean, I agree. We love, I love you, Keanu. Keanu. <laughs> yeah, James Reeves, Keanu Reeves, he's my cousin. Yeah, people, yeah. Say, people say we look alike uh -huh. all the time. But how was Keanu as a shooter? I mean, it was, you saw the video, yeah. it was incredible. Yeah, how'd he do? Well, he's, he, we go over every little detail. We don't just teach a giant three gun course one day. We go over handguns for the few, few, first few times, and rifle, then shotgun. And for John Wick 3, there's a whole new battery of stuff he's learned that was even more work than John Wick Chapter 2, which I thought was like, that's as hard as we're going to figure this stuff mm -hmm. out. And um, he's just very dedicated. He's very, he's very rarely happy with his run. Mm -hmm. But I've noticed that's how the best are. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, that was great. I'll take that. You know, they, mm -hmm. they don't push past that. Mm -hmm. So um, he likes it. He's, he likes motorcycles and mechanics and cool stuff. So he enjoys it. It's, it's fun for him. And, and uh, just having the director and everybody out here training, too, from the whole group for the Make John Wick, the whole entire stunt group, all the guys getting killed over and over mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. they all shoot mm -hmm. here and they all have a great time. Oh, and, great. That's mm -hmm. all transcending to the movies. It all look better in these action sequences. Keanu has to be one of the most humble, kindest actors I've ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. He likes to load his own bags, paint his own targets. Sweep. Sweep. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just such a genuine person. True. And, and that is so rare. And like yeah. you were talking about earlier. Made my man crush just yeah. through the roof. Yeah, I, I told Taryn I watched Point Break before I got here because I was like, it'd be really cool to watch like a Keanu class. Well, you hear these stories where he gave all, bought everybody a motorcycle in the Matrix mm -hmm. and gave two thirds of that money away to people to help them. He is that person. It's not like a trick or an act or where he's on the subway and he gives up a seat to someone. He is beyond the most genuine, nicest guy I've ever met. And now who are the good shooters? Who's come through here? What celebrities are you? You're like, damn, uh, he's a lot better than I expected. Uh, well, there's Keanu, of course. Uh, Garrett Dillahunt is really phenomenal. You watch his videos on our YouTube and stuff like that. He's on Fear the Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Plays John Dory, doing a lot of cowboy stuff on there. We're working on that too with cowboy guns. Uh, there's uh, Michael B. Jordan from Black Panther. Mm -hmm. you know, the movie didn't have much gunplay. He trained his butt off. He's phenomenally good. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. well, Michael Rooker's always been a natural here. He's mm -hmm. really good. Let's get it. John yeah. Bernthal, the Punisher. Mm -hmm. He wants it. He's, he's good. James Reeves, TFT yeah. TV. <laughs> now, I can, corro I can corroborate, by the way, what Jade said, and that is Terrence Fantastic. I'm a movie fanatic. I love movies as much or more than shooting, and over the years, I've, I've seen every movie you can imagine. And I go back recently and watch stuff 10 years later, like watching The Born Supremacy. And just, not that it's bad, but his grip's kind of cup and saucery. Mm -hmm. I had this opp opportunity years ago. Harry Humphrey's a phenomenal military trainer, does all the cool movies with Michael Bay and all the good stuff. And he had Pierce Brosnan coming out. I wasn't training him, but these guys were getting ready to. I had to jump in there really quick and fix a cup and saucer from all the Bond movies. Mm -hmm. Like, I jumped the gun, I'm like, I got I to gotta be the one. So he's like, what do you mean? What's wrong with my grip? And he was always doing the cup mm -hmm. and saucer. So mm -hmm. I got his hand up there, mm -hmm. just as Harry's guys were going to show him. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a little moment there. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, just uh, working with great actors and trying to help them look better on camera. You don't want to look dorky and nerdy and just... I mean, I'm just doing a little bit that I can. And sometimes we get heat from people like, why is that person out there? They're anti... Mm -hmm. Well, what am I supposed to do? Tell them to go to hell? Mm -hmm. I'm showing them our world. I've had a recent actress come out who's an Academy Award winner, a legendary actress, and I don't, you know, I don't know what her background is, but I'm sure it was a certain way. But at the end of it, she's having a good time. She's enjoying their it. Minds. Yeah. Well, just that she feels so much safer, and she feels like she has such a new viewpoint on it. And the mo common misconception is people get scared if they don't know. It's just that unknowingness that throws people off. But once you understand something, once you understand that it's you, and you, if you control the situation, you can handle whatever you want to. You're doing something good out here. And, yes. and to kind of wrap this up, I'm going to put the girls on the spot. Favorite actor or actress that's come out here, no Keanu. Oh. <laughs> no same answers. Who is it? John Bernthal. I love him. <laughs> Jennifer? <laughs> Jesse Graff. She's so entertaining, she's so athletic, and she does a lot of work with kids, and I love that about her. Um, 
Daredevil hunt. Yeah. <laughs> they're people. And they're coming to our home. So it's not like this, like, I'm, you know, no. They come in, they're humble, and they're sweet, and we can connect to them on a deeper like intimate level to where we become friends you know and like all of us you know you meet different people you connect with different people i vibe with john because that's just my homie but she vibes with garrett because that's her homie we can find that passion just by showing them our passion and, and we learn from them too people who don't know this world that have hasn't had the one-on-one -on -one experience to actually come out here try it to, to have see their things through a different things. perspective like here's a perfect example watch just watch the the video we did with the kardashians the episode mm -hmm. They came out and you had, uh, Chloe was into it. Somehow they found us, wanted to come out. People were like, don't let them come out there. They're anti-gun, you don't know. Well, they're just judging all of them because Kim isn't into guns or whatever. So they came out and Kendall was hiding, kind of hiding in the back when Chloe was shooting. Chloe was into it, you know. She's, she's like, how are you not scared? I'm like, she's all, <laughs> So Chloe's all revenge botting all the targets, big time body bagging them. And then Chloe in the commercial is like, uh, Kendall's like, ah! And she comes out and starts shooting, and at the end she shot good, and they're walking off, and they're like, that was so much fun, we learned so much. And they learned about that if there's a situation where there's a gun in the house or whatever, they know how to clear the gun, make it safe, or if they have to use it, they would know how to use it. There's nothing wrong with that. And it was the other side of the world that we got to come here and see it, and a lot of people liked it. It's funny to hear you guys talk about celebrities and being starstruck, because Honestly, I'm a little starstruck being here. And oh, I'm totally not worthy to be here. Come on, oh, let's be honest. Come on. Up. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, it's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys so much for having me. This really has meant a lot. It's Thank been you. one of the best days ever. We will come back and we will probably be bringing you guys some more from Terran Tactical if you're into it. But guys, thanks again. Everyone, I'll see you next week.